Hi, Miss Venezia Ali again. Hello. Today we're going to be talking about energy transformations. So, as you can see from this diagram, we have chemical energy being transformed into many, many different forms, such as electrical energy, and then from there the electrical energy is used to power many different things. And um, we're going to get started talking about how to recognize these energy transformations. So briefly, I just wanted to remind you of the two types of energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. And we have kinetic energy right here on this biker, and this biker right here is kinetic energy. We also have potential energy. The biker at the top of the mountain is energy from that is stored from its position. And just a reminder, there's many types of potential energy. We have potential energy, we have elastic energy, which is energy stored to do to stretching or compressing, chemical energy, which can be food or battery or gasoline. It's energy stored in the chemical bonds. We also have nuclear energy, which is stored inside the nucleus of atoms. And gravitational energy is due to the position. So that was back when we talked about the higher it up, the more potential gravitational energy it has. The lower, the less potential energy it has. Okay, and the different types of kinetic energy consist of sound energy right here, which uh, it comes from waves. And vibration creates sound, as we saw in our video in class the other day. Here we have thermal energy, which comes from the movement and the vibration of particles within something. They vibrate more, they get hotter. Radiant energy, it comes from the moving of electromagnetic waves, with it, like the sun waves are electromagnetic waves, microwaves are electromagnetic waves. Electricity is our movement of electrons to power all our fun gadgets. And motion energies, when something is moving, it creates energy. Okay, the law of conservation of energy. You know, you've heard in all of our other videos that energy can't be created or destroyed. And what that actually means is energy can change forms, but it's never lost. In many ways, it may appear that energy is gained or lost, but it's really only just changed forms. So now we're going to watch some videos about uh, how energy can change forms and how it is transformed in other, into other types of energy. The food I ate for lunch was chemical energy, which I transformed into motion energy by rubbing my hands together. As my hands heated up, the energy was transformed into thermal energy and sound. The chemical energy in this candle is stored in the chemical bonds of the candle. Now as you can see, we're getting ready to light the candle. So what's going to happen is the chemical energy will be transformed into radiant or light energy, and then it will also give off another form of energy such as thermal energy. Chemical energy is stored within the chemical bonds of the cat food. As Chester eats the food, he can then transform the energy into motion or mechanical energy. I transformed the chemical energy from lunch into motion energy or mechanical energy so I could pick the grill which then transformed into sound energy. The lamp is plugged into an electrical socket that is operated off a light switch. When the light switch is flipped, we have electrical energy, which is the movement of electrons, that is transformed into radiant energy or light energy and heat.